The biggest nutrient deficiency that's affecting cognitive function used to be thought to just be omega-3s. But it's not so much a deficiency in omega-3s, it's more so a deficiency in this one particular B vitamin. Now, if we start understanding the data, it really paints a clear picture of what we might need to do. I'm also gonna talk about things that you can add into your diet to get more of this B vitamin. So let's go ahead and break it down. After today's video, I put a link down below for Organifi. If you want a greens drink or a reds drink, they are the bee's knees. They're the one to go for. Now, I personally go for the reds drink. I get a fair bit of greens in my diet, so I don't always need a greens drink unless I'm traveling. But the reds drink allows me to get the polyphenols, the nutrients, the vitamins that I like to get from fruit, but without the carbohydrates. So I'm talking like two grams of total sugar, and it's not even added sugar. It's just from the real fruit that they make it with. So we're getting a multitude of different fruits. We're getting a bunch of different vitamins, the polyphenols, the antioxidants, in a simple glass that tastes delicious. I've known Drew Canoli, the owner, for I guess about a decade now, and I remember when he first started Organifi, when he only had greens and then he introduced reds. I was never a big green drink guy then, so when he introduced reds, I got super into it. But anyhow, that link down below is a 20% off discount link, and it's Organifi.com slash Thomas2023, and you can also use that code Thomas2023 if you go to Organifi.com, and that gets you 20% off whatever. So whether it's their green drink, their reds drink, whether it's their gold, they have a cognitive blend called Pure, they have a bunch of different stuff. So big shout out to them. Thank you for being a sponsor on this channel. That link is down below. Okay, so the way that we established this was there was a 16-week study that took a look at subjects adding a multivitamin into their diet compared to placebo. And they found that when the multivitamin was added in, when they actually mapped their brain and looked at a number of different things, they were actually electrically mapping their brain, they saw that there was this big improvement in neural efficiency. Now what that means is the brain was able to basically focus on a task and turn off, have selective inhibition of other areas of the brain. So imagine if like you had five parts of the brain, let's just pretend, and you were using one part of the brain to do a task. If the other four regions of the brain were just running in background, it would take away from the efficiency of the one region, right? But if you have selective inhibition where you can turn those off and focus on the task at hand, that is hugely efficient and that is seen as a huge sign of cognitive performance, not just overall health. So with that, they said, okay, well, these people that are taking a multivitamin just had better cognitive performance. So they broke it down a little bit more to determine well, what are these people deficient in? Like, what are they getting out of this multivitamin? And ultimately, they did see that like their diets may have been void of a lot of nutrition, but it was vitamin B12 that seemed to be the most important or the one that they were the most deficient in. Now, what we have to remember is that vitamin B12 is required for the formation of a lot of different neurotransmitters. Like, we cannot really create a number of these different things without vitamin B12. So that could be a short-term reason. Like maybe we're actually able to produce what we need to produce when, we, when, we're not, like when we're not deficient, right? But what else is interesting is that vitamin B12 is required for converting homocysteine into methionine through methylation. Now that may sound like Greek, so in simple English, like homocysteine builds up in the brain, it can be inflammatory, it can lead to potential cognitive impairment as we get older in life. And it's part of simple methylation to clear that out. But if you're deficient in vitamin B, you cannot clear out homocysteine. So that does impede your cognitive performance. Now how that would show up is probably exactly like we saw on these actual tests where they were looking at the brain. Now B vitamins in general are really important for the brain. Like a B complex is very important. The problem that we face a lot of times with B vitamins is most of us don't run into serious deficiencies if we're eating good amounts of meat, but it is such a water-soluble vitamin that once you start sweating or once you have a higher demand, you might burn through it faster. So the best sources are simply going to be eggs, they're going to be liver, it's going to be beef, it's going to be shellfish, it's gonna be fish in general. Those are really, really good ones. Another tremendous source of vitamin B12 that you might even notice a very immediate cognitive boost with is nutritional yeast. That's like the powder yeast stuff. I put it on asparagus, I put it on veggies all the time. Tastes amazing and it's one of the most potent sources of B12 that you could actually find. As vegetarian sources, kind of interesting, tempeh, 
Other forms of like even uh, kind of fermented soy can have it. Nori, like seaweed, but then you're also getting iodine, so you have a huge benefit there. So those are some vegetarian sources. And then there's also some interesting data that's come out of Frontiers in Nutrition not too long ago that demonstrated that when you get enough fiber and your microbiome is diverse, your microbiome can actually produce vitamin B12 as well. So it makes sense that people that were deficient in B12 got benefit from a multivitamin because they're, if they're deficient in B12, they're probably deficient in other areas too. And with that, we also can draw conclusions from a lot of other data. I did another video on this, that a multivitamin may not be such a cheesy, lame thing to add into your life. As far as like with older people, it seems to actually improve cognitive function and stave off cognitive decline simply because we are so deficient in so many vitamins and minerals. And even if you eat good one day, it doesn't carry over for the rest of your week. So sometimes the habit of a simple multivitamin might actually make or break how your brain feels. So as always, keep it locked in here on my channel. I'll see you tomorrow.